Are you making under $60,000? Interest in buying a house, but have no idea where to start? Guess what? We got all the answers. Stick with us. Buying a house is really overwhelming. Um, I don't know where to start sometimes. Claire, you just gotta know the right people that can streamline this whole process for you. Do you even know the benefits, the first time home buyer incentives that are available to you? Claire. The first thing you gotta do before you start looking at houses is you gotta sit down with a mortgage advisor, you gotta draft up a budget, and you have to see what you can actually afford. And this is called a pre-approval. So once you have a pre-approval from a mortgage advisor, then it's time to start looking at houses. Second tip, tell me. Interview real estate agents, just like what you're doing to me right now. Sorry, I have so many questions. At the end of the day, it comes down to the person who's able to meet you on short notice, especially now because we're in a very fast market. You need an agent that's gonna be there for you and you need to have an agent that's gonna have a synergy with you where you know that the communication as well. In this business, when you go through these transactions, it's so important to have that communication and that synergy with each other. And you wanna have that comfort zone with a real estate agent where if you have any questions that you are afraid to ask or any part of this process is intimidating, you know that you can go to your agent and feel good about getting the response that you need and also the empathy that you need for these questions that you're gonna have along the way. Okay, so how the heck do you know where to start to buy a house? It sounds so vague, but the type of life you wanna live. You wanna be thinking about what, it would, uh, what type of walk or drive you would have to work every day. Where are your friends located? These are all important things to take into consideration. And then separate from all that, you also gotta be thinking about the big picture. What's the neighborhood doing? Is it yeah. going up in value? Is it doing the opposite? You wanna be able to have this nice asset for you down the road when you wanna do other big things with your life and sometimes, Home ownership can be that olive branch for you that you're looking for when you want to make a big move. Three things you gotta know first when you buy a house. I'm learning two. Get pre-qualified with a mortgage agent, one. Second tip, interview real estate agents. You don't have to go to the first one you talk to. You gotta to go to the one that you feel the most comfortable with. That could be through a referral, through a friend, such as your friend Claire here. Three. Find the neighborhood that speaks to you, that is also affordable to you. 